Hey guys, this is Reggie the Gamer. Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, I am doing something a little different, and I'm going to be talking about tips and tricks for K Quarries on Mindplex. Now, I'm kind of late to this. I've been playing Mindplex K Quarries for, I guess, what, three years now? <laughs> yeah. So, I, I think I'm pretty knowledgeable of the game and, you know, how it all works. I, I think I got most of it down to the point where I can actually give advice on how to play it. But, um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Hopefully it helps one of you. And what works for me may not work for someone else. So uh, don't take all this to heart and expect to just be, I don't know, the greatest cake horse player or whatever. Just take it with a grain of salt, I guess. And maybe just consider it all instead of trying everything all at once. Just, you know, bit by bit. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's get into this. So the first thing I want to talk about before anything else is rushing out to other bases instead of camping in yours it's something that a lot of people uh that i talk to anyway don't like people camping in the base and like taking up all the resources and all of that junk and sometimes it's necessary but at the start of the game you might as well just go ahead rush out and see if you can do anything in particular like if you can rush a base like a base just is not covered or protected and the cakes just wide open I'd say go for it but if it's getting covered with endstone you don't have a pickaxe then probably not the best idea try to find some form of rush trap that works for you I usually would just get 14 bricks use five bricks for a sword and then the rest for wool and then just go out and see if I can do anything which most of the time I can if you're fast enough you can just go all over the place and make the game end in like five minutes, which I am sometimes able to do. But you, you know, the, sometimes it doesn't work out like that because sometimes you got a bunch of people just covering their cakes, and it's yeah, it, it's not gonna work all the time. But it's just something to keep in mind for the times when you can do it. You know, just try to rush out there, and you know, for rushing. You're probably going to want to learn the basics of jump bridging. And I have a video on that. I could probably make a follow up video. It was a video that I did a while back now. And I, you know, when I learned jump bridging, I tried to teach people how to do it. it it's not as great. And I've got the basics down a little bit better. And I could probably go into a more in-depth video on that in the future. But right now, I'll probably just link something in the description below. Uh, along with like some other things like you know basics of PvP because you gotta learn the basics of PvP as well and then you just gotta use whatever whatever advantages you have or whatever weaknesses someone else has against them when I'm playing I usually try to pick the fights that I know I can win sometimes I'll be risky and just go for it anyway like you know high risk high reward that kind of junk but it's not always worth it to just rush in at someone when you're in, like, leather armor and have a diamond sword when they have full iron and an iron sword. It's it's a tough fight to win, but if you know you can win it, go for it. Don't always be afraid of someone that just has more armor or uh, a sword that's going to do more damage than yours, or even prod or sharpness. You, you, like, if you know you can beat them, go for it. Don't wait around for them to get even more stacked than they already can that's just how i think about it and another thing i want to get into is saving resources that can be saved sometimes i just waste resources like i'll go in i'll like take in i don't know 54 bricks and like 14 emeralds and i don't stash in my ender chest or anything and it's it's not what you should be doing but it's something that's going to happen sometimes, I get it. But try to save resources when you can before you start rushing out. It's just, I don't know if anyone doesn't do that unintentionally. But try not to. It's just a good thing to not do. And also share team resources. Or sometimes share resources with your team. Like if you got a bunch, don't be greedy and hog it all. You can give some to your teammates. Especially nether stars. Because with nether stars... People usually know what to get, you know? People are usually like, oh, I'll just get prod or sharp or whatever. You know, you can trust them with that. If you really want to get a specific upgrade, maybe, I don't know, tell your team that, or, or like, in chat, or if you're just talking to them, let them know. Maybe just give it to them, let them have at it. Uh, usually, if you're wondering what uh, I usually go for, it's just, like, prod. It used to be sharpness, but, yeah, you know, whatever your play style is like, go for it. It's whatever you want to get. It's your nether stars. You buy whatever. And another thing 
is try to learn what cost what prices in the shops. If you got like the basic stuff of what costs what, you can work out how much you need for, I don't know, bow, and I think that's like 12 bricks. I really don't know all the prices of everything in the shop, but it just comes along as time goes by, and the more you play, you just kind of know how much you need for what. The next thing I want to go ahead and jump into real quick is capturing points that need to be captured. I get it, you know, capturing armor points, capturing midpoints, kind of important. Uh, you need to get this so you can get better stuff, but if you don't need to capture a point and you can instead rush someone, get their cake at the least, and maybe kill the whole team, maybe, then, you know, go for it. If, it's, if the opportunity's there, take it. Don't just be like, I'll capture this point and I'll go capture this other point, and don't go around just capturing points unless that's just like, I don't know, something your team assigned you to do. Only capture points that need to be captured. <laughs> really, that's that's all I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, and the next thing is try and find a strat that actually works out for you. I've been going on and on about like rushing and capturing the right points and all that, but if you're best at like defending, play defense. It's not the best uh, play style, or it's it's not my favorite play style, but sometimes the defense is really needed, and someone does need to stay back, protect the base, you know, make sure no one gets the cake, but if you're good enough, yeah, I mean, you can go without it, but like, you know, sometimes defenses work, sometimes uh, gathering all the resources for your team also works, that's a pretty good idea. Going around capturing points, even though I just said don't capture every point. Capturing some is nice for your team, because then they don't have to worry about it later. You kind of just already have the resources there. So gather resources for your team is also a nice thing to do. Uh, if rushing is your strat, then, I mean, you know, good for you. That's, that's pretty good. Cake, rushing in Cake Wars, I guess, is somewhat a form of meta game, I guess. I don't know. Like, if you can get out there and get someone's cake before they even get the chance to cover it. Kind of OP, you know, just just a little. <laughs> it's kind of good when you can just get somewhere before anyone else has a chance to react. That's kind of why rushing so prominent in, like, every Wars game, like, you know, Cake Wars, Treasure Wars, uh, Egg Wars, so on and so forth. You know, getting somewhere before your opponent can react, basically. And that's why everyone's so keen on it, just because of how good it really is. Something else that I could point out is buying the right things that you know you'll need. Because, I mean, sometimes, you know, the misclicks happen. Yeah, I get that. But only buy what you're going to need. Don't go and buy, like, bow, arrows, and uh, diamond pickaxe. If you just got, like, one guy, and he's just, like, in leather armor, just spawned in. You know, just get like, if you get died, and you, the other guy is in like leather armor, getting his iron armor, and you respawn, just get yourself like a sword, uh, maybe a chest plate, leggings, whatever, you know, whatever you think is going to be necessary, and just go at him, because you, chances are, you still got your cake, I assume, since you just respawned <laughs> in this scenario, and... He doesn't have a cake, you just ate it. So you could just go in, kill him, win the game. Easy as that. Don't worry about getting more points and dragging on the game longer than it should be. Instead, just go kill him. That's that's another thing in general. Don't drag out the game if it doesn't need to be dragged out. Just do it, you know? If your demise is that you're going to die, I mean, you know, or there's, like, there's no chance that you can survive. You're just on your island. There's no way. And so you're like, let me go under the map. Don't do that. Don't try to camp somewhere. Just let it happen. Or, if, uh, you know, the, the other person's doing that, then just go for him. Don't let him camp or hide somewhere where you can't find him. And another thing, actually, if they do get to that point, what I do is stash all my important stuff in a chest and then jump off into the void. This is if I have a cake, by the way. If you don't have a cake, don't do it. <laughs> but uh, if you have a cake... Stash all your important resources in a chest, and then just jump off into the map, and use the tracking compass to find where they are. You know, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't, but try to find out the location of where they're hiding, 
then you can go and get them instead of running around the map all over the place and just trying to find them and then not finding them and being like, where in the world are they? And the game runs out and it's a tie. Don't let that happen. Just jump off into the world. Don't let your... If your cake's gone, though, don't do it. That's just bad. <laughs> don't do it. But, uh... Yeah, that's about all the tips I got. Hopefully, some of them help. If they don't, uh, you know, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'll leave links in the description as well to some things that could possibly help with, like, I don't know, PvP jump bridging, uh, maybe some other form of strategies, maybe another video entirely, and maybe uh, it'll help more than this one. So, yeah, I, I just want to shine light on it and maybe help anyone that does actually need help getting better at Cake Warriors. They feel like they could just do better. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, slap the like button. Subscribe to your channel because of your channel and become part of the hashtag like nation. Let me know if I should do more of these. This is a different kind of video that I'm doing. Maybe I'll do more tips and tricks like Reggie's tips and tricks on blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, maybe I'll do some more of that. But, you know, for now, this is kind of it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, and with all that being said, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.